Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wasn't really sure if I was going to film it or not. I thought that maybe you guys are sick of my declutter videos, but then I realized that this would be the video that I would want to watch most. So I figured that there would be some people out there who would want to see my handbag collection. Um, I mean, it's not large or anything like that. So I thought that I would do like a little video decluttering those. I'm gonna start with like my travel bags. So my makeup bags, my like packing cubes, things like that. And then I will go through my handbags. So if you guys wanna watch my process on how I do this, then just keep watching. Really super old Lululemon bag. It's looking so rough. Like look at the all that on the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is my high school backpack. I graduated high school a very long time ago. I haven't used it in so long and it's just really old. Okay, so something about me is that I love using these types of bags for traveling because I will put my socks and underwear in one and then my sweaters and things like that in another. But my favorite ones to travel with are definitely the Kate Spade ones because they're really soft. It's really easy to just tie them up like that and you can kind of bunch them as well. So I love these ones. I'm gonna keep all the Kate Spade ones. I'm gonna get rid of this one and this one. If I am traveling for the weekend and I have a bunch of stuff, I will most likely take this larger pink bag. It's kind of juvenile, but it does the trick and it has so much space in it. This is my Longchamp backpack. I love using this because it's really lightweight and thin. I do like using this for traveling as well. Going through a couple of my makeup bags, I put like my makeup in one side and my skincare in the other, and then my brushes here, and then I will put my jewelry in here. This is my Ted Baker makeup case. It has more structure than my other ones, but then it also has this huge pouch inside. I've had for a couple years, and it just doesn't look like it's aged at all, so I'm gonna keep that. Both of these are those pouches that you get at Clinique for um, like buying one of their items. I reuse these all the time. Wes sometimes uses them. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these. This right here is a Kate Spade makeup case. And again, it's the same material as my Ted Baker one so it doesn't get dirty or look old or anything like that. I feel like I should part with this because I haven't used it. I do find it a little bit difficult to get into, which is a bummer. This is a maybe for me because this was one of my first Kate Spade purchases. This right here is a clear pouch from Stony Clover Lane. It has a super chunky zipper and it looks really great with all of my products in here. I can see every product that I have. It makes it really easy. This right here is a tiny little like makeup case. I don't know. I used to use it as a pencil case in like elementary school. This is from the body shop. I loved this, but now I'd never find myself using it, so I'm going to toss this. This bag right here is such a cool item. I actually received this from Bioveen, and it says, I will travel wherever you go. It's like a sleeping bag material, and then inside it has all of these little like elastics and pouches, like net pouches, so it's really easy to pack everything in here, but I never find myself reaching for this. I just like my <laughs> more structured ones a little bit better. I am a total neat freak and bags like this totally excite me. I love using them for traveling. I will have like my cords and stuff in this one. I'll put my makeup in the blue one and then larger items in the pink one. And I can never part with these. I think that they're really great for traveling. This right here is one of those makeup bags that I got in a set at Sephora, I think. And I like it because it's just really simple and it's easy to just throw stuff in. Okay, so let's address the clear obsession in the room. I order a lot from Glossier and uh, <laughs> this is really putting it into perspective of how much I buy from them. I love reusing these pouches. They do get old, they don't last forever, so ones like this one, which you can tell it's like really worn and torn. Um, it's actually the color that they used to be and then they switched to this like darker pink. I'm gonna get rid of this one because it no longer has the zippy thing. I really can't part with the other ones. They're just an amazing travel bag and they're just really fun. Okay, so instead of traveling with like a regular like work bag, I use these canvas bags, these reusable ones. My favorite ones to use are these lighter material ones that aren't so stiff. I got this one when I was at the Glossier in LA. This is another Glossier one, and again, it's like that softer material. And this one I got at the pop-up in Toronto. And then two of my absolute faves. They are truly the softest material of a canvas bag that I've ever owned. And these were actually created as merch for my best friend. 
and they're so soft so amazing and I have two of them this is a drawing of her and I use these like all the time but then the stiffer ones like this one from Nordstrom and these two from Kate Spade I'm going to actually pass on they're actually not big enough for my computer like they're not long enough so I'm gonna pass those on to someone okay so another obsession of mine is packing cubes I think I got these at Winners they have this handle so that it's really easy to kind of pull them out of your suitcase there's the large the medium and the small. This is Sharper Image and I recommend these a lot. Continuing on with packing cubes, these were my very first packing cubes. They're not the best material. I got these on Amazon. These are the Dinner Well Travel. So yeah, the zippers don't really work that well, but I did notice that they are a little bit deeper. So it's they fit a lot in here. I have the large and then I have the medium. The small actually, the zipper doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna keep these because if I go on a bigger trip then I'll need them. Also in that set of travel cubes from Amazon came a shoe bag which comes in really handy if I have dirty shoes. And then it also came with three different size laundry bags. Usually what I'll use them for is like underwear in this one, bras in this one and then like actual dirty clothes in this one okay so now that I've gone through everything and I've determined if I'm gonna keep it or not I'm gonna put them back and reorganize them in this cage cube whatever you call it <laughs> Okay, so now I have everything all set and packed up here. I can see everything, all of my little bags here, um, starting with the Glossier ones and then moving this way. I have my larger bag back at the bottom here. My packing cubes go here. Um, this at the front is all of my canvas bags for work. And then I have all of my makeup and skincare cases on the top, easy to grab and go. And I can see every single one of them, which is awesome. All right guys, so I'm gonna go through my handbag collection. Some of this has like an assortment of like clutches and wallets and crossbodies and backpacks, things like that. So I'm gonna go through it all and then I'm gonna declutter some. Okay, so first up is my Longchamp bag and I love these because they're really easy to um, clean off and then they fold up really nice. So um, if you want to bring it in a suitcase as like a beach bag or something, but I haven't used it in a very long time. Uh, this is in the maybe pile. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. This, <laughs> this poor backpack is one of my favorites. I got this at Winners and I loved it because there's no logos or anything. This is the carry-on backpack that I would most likely use if I'm going on a trip. I clearly haven't worn it in a while, but we'll get there again. Okay, so this is a Kate Spade bag. I got this so many years ago. It's like that nylon material, which is super lightweight, but I've never, like, it's been years since I've used this, so I'm gonna pass this on. This is another Kate Spade bag. As you can tell, I'm a fan. I love it because it has three different compartments and a long strap. I really like this style of bag. Also, the color is really neutral and I can wear it with pretty much anything. This is one of my favorites. I never really wear it, but as you can see, it's just full of character and it's so much fun. I use this mostly in the summertime and this was like a limited edition color or something, but I'm really a huge fan of the color of this. This is like my branding on Instagram and I just, it's one of those favorite colors for me, so I can't give this up. This bag right here, it looks like I have a ton of Kate Spade bags. <laughs> There's an outlet by my house and I just like go crazy. But this one I actually got at work. Um, I worked at Nordstrom in the handbag section and I was the one who sold a lot of Kate Spade bags. So they gave me this one. I would never wear this and I would never buy it. So it's really a bummer. I've actually, ooh, I'm totally gonna take this for traveling. But besides the point, I will never wear this. So I'm gonna maybe pass this on to someone or just, I, it's no longer gonna be in my collection. This is probably one of my favorite bags. <laughs> it looks crazy, but this is my Lululemon fanny pack and I mostly wear it crossbody and it just sits underneath my arm perfectly. I'll wear this with like a blazer or I will wear it with like athleisure and it's just one of my favorites. This is my Macage handbag and I bought this when I was working at Nordstrom. It's crazy because this is actually worth like 400 or almost $500 normally, but 
when I worked there, I saw all the sales, obviously. So I got this for $152 plus my discount. So almost $100, which is crazy for this macage bag. It's so luxe and I just, I love this. It's my favorite handbag ever. Because I used to sell these all the time, I'm going to show you guys like what I love about it. So I love that it has this really long crossbody chain and then it twists the chain like this and then wear it just over my shoulder. So it's really versatile in the ways that I can wear it. If I really want to dress up an outfit or if I'm going out or something, then this is the bag that I'll bring. This Kate Spade bag, again, I got this so, so long ago. I loved it for traveling because it has the zipper up top here um, and then it goes all the way to the bottom. So I put my passports back here and my money and then I will wear it crossbody. Both of the chains are removable, but I haven't used it in so long that I will pass it on to someone that will wear it. This is a bag from Forever 21. This bothers me a lot because these things will fall off all the time, but luckily I found them. So I'm going to be gluing this one back on and I've already glued another one back on. It's super tiny, so it only fits like a card holder and a phone, but it's just really simple to throw on like any outfit. This will do for now. And then if you guys have any other recommendations on a great black crossbody bag, then let me know in the comments. Another crossbody bag. This is a beautiful leather bag that I got in Italy so many years ago. I think I went in grade 10 with my class. It has a crossbody strap, it's navy, and I still remember the day that me and my friend Alex picked this out in the shop. It has so many memories to me, but I think I gotta pass it on because I have pictures to remember those days by, and yeah, I just, I wonder if Alex remembers that day, because I definitely do. She talked me into getting the navy blue one, and I'm so happy she did because I'm not a fan of brown bags, as you guys can tell. So I'm really thankful for those memories, and it was so much fun, but I think I gotta let go of it because I haven't used it in, like, years. Okay, so this is a really random bag, and I'm gonna try and explain it as best as I can. It was basically one of those two-in-one bags, so it had, like, a hobo-shaped bag, and then this one actually, like, clipped into the sides. But this was my favorite part, and I've already decluttered that other bag, like, about a year ago. But what I love about this is, obviously, it comes out of that bag, and it has a black strap, and I honestly, it's just this really slouchy cute little bag. I tend to reach for this one when I need a black bag but something a little bit bigger than this. It's like that really casual stretchy leather look. I've had this for so long and I just don't want to get rid of it. Okay so this is a Michael Kors bag that Wes got me. It was like our first year of dating or something and I remember pinning a bag like this on my Pinterest and then he went out and bought it for me, so I really love this bag and he was so sweet to get it for me. The only problem is that I find it really, really stiff and not a lot fits in here. So I am looking, like I said, for a larger black crossbody bag. Better quality than the Forever 21s, but not as stiff as this one. I'm gonna keep this until I find that other bag, but so many memories with this and I really love it. Okay, so this is kind of random. It should have been in my other, like the beginning part of this video with the travel stuff. This is my larger Longchamp bag. It's kind of more like a duffel bag. I love how this folds up like this. I actually got this at Winners for $100 and at Nordstrom they sell them for like $350. So what a steal. Um, and then I've attached this pom-pom to it, which is like super fun and cute. But I'm going to put this in my travel section because it doesn't belong with my handbags because if I'm carrying this around as a handbag, I've got a problem. Okay, so now moving on to clutches. This is just like a random black clutch. It has a chain and it has quite a bit of space in there. So keeping this just for those times that I go out. I also have a navy one. This one is a lot smaller, but it's a lot cuter. I love this. It's super cute. My friend Caitlin got this for me for my birthday. It has a gold chain which really pops on the navy. It has a pouch back here for stuff and then it has card holders. So all I really need is to put my phone and maybe a lipstick. And then this is a rose gold clutch from Forever 21. I ended up getting a dress from there for New Year's and this matched perfectly. Not a lot of space but it's one of those bags that's super fun to add a pop of color to your look. I love these three because they're very versatile in different looks that I can wear out. Okay, now moving on to wallets. I used to love these wallets, which are really great for like just 
throwing your cards in here and what I liked about it is that I didn't actually have to open it I could just pull out my card here so that was really easy to access my cards it's this really nice watermelon color and I haven't used it in a while because I'm more drawn to card holders now but I don't know maybe I'll keep it for the summer and possibly use it this is a larger version of that same wallet it's got this pebbled leather which is really nice and soft um, it has the same idea with all the cards here and then it has like this change pocket at the back. So if I go back to larger wallets, I'll have this one to go to. And then I have these mini card holders. It's crazy because I'm slowly getting into a smaller wallet. The wallet that I currently use is just a Marc Jacobs card holder, which is all I need right now. I used to love this type of wallet where it had the cards at the back here and then space for change in here or like receipts. And then I also attached it to my keys most of the time, but I haven't used this in a while and it's kind of looking gross, so I'm going to pass this on. And then this one is my Marc Jacobs one. I love the look of this. I ended up stopping using this because I bought another one, but there's a huge chance that I'll go back to this if I need more space. These are really practical. I love the style of this wallet and I'm definitely going to go back to using this eventually. So yeah, if you guys can find this style wallet, I highly recommend. These are all of the handbags or the pouches or whatever that I'm going to be either donating or selling online. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and my declutter series. I truly appreciate all of your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.